So in the previous video, we cut a one inch strap. It was about eight feet long. And what we're doing now is we're bisecting the one inch strap. We're cutting it down the length um, to make two half inch straps for the tiny half inch buckles that are usually used for um, bracers and the arm sides of pauldrons or um, straps for greaves. So what I've done is I've taken this grid, and if you look at the grid, we usually get one inch strips. So the ruler is one inch wide. These um, grids are one inch squares here, but if we use just one tiny square, these are half inch. So if you look closely at the edge, I've got just one half on either side of the line. So you can see that right here between the two squares, I'm going to do my cut along the entire length of the leather strip. So I take the time to line my leather up with that grid and then make sure that my end starts right at that line so I can see it clearly and then make sure that my leather strip also follows that same spacing. Okay. And then I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to lay it gently across the entire edge. Now this is a nice hardened steel. As a blacksmith, you can go to the metal areas and say like, I just want a piece of tool steel that's one inch flat by you know eighth inch thick. And they just have them and they make for great rulers. So we're going to press firmly down on our rigid ruler, making sure that we're intersecting the line and that our leather here is not exceeding the um, grid on our cutting mat. So I'm going to keep firm pressure downward. I'm going to use the rotary cutter, just cut my seam. And I'm gently going to walk my fingers up the ruler as I cut to make sure it's held firmly in place. And your cutter is only pushing down. And your ruler is only in compression. You take it nice and slow, and at the end it may try to wander. And so it's okay at that point to bring everything closer to you so you can see what you're doing. Find that same groove, right, that crotch in the middle of the leather. And then just make sure when you do so, you've got your steel lined up on that same groove, okay? So we're lining up our steel with the middle, and then we're pulling the leg of leather that we've already cut out so we can see that seam, that groove. And then we just lock our blade into that groove and then gently apply pressure to finish the cut. Okay, just like that. So now we have two strips that are a half inch wide that should work nicely with our tiny buckle.